Field editors are the default contentful editors that you find when you create a content type and go to edit information inside of that content type. We've open sourced all of our field editors, such as the text input, the rich text, the JSON field, and the markdown editor, to name a few, so you can build custom experiences when you're working with apps. Our documentation for the field editors can be found at contentful-field-editors.netlify.app. Here we list out the field editors that we use and give documentation on how to install them. Let's say we want to replace the rich text editor with a custom rich text editor and put a few Forma 36 components on top of it. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about, Let's jump back into Contentful and take a look at my simple blog post content type. Here I have a title field and a body. The body uses our built-in rich text editor. In our Contentful field editors that we've open sourced, this rich text editor is available for you to use and install when building apps on the app framework. To install the rich text editor, I'm going to run a simple command inside of my app directory by running npm install at contentful slash field editor rich text. Once we have confirmation of the installation, let's jump back into our code. In our editor, I'm going to head over to the package JSON just to confirm that we have actually installed the rich text editor. You can see it's showing up here. This means we're ready to import it into our code. From here, I'm going to open up the source directory, and inside of the components directory, I'm going to navigate over to my field component. My field component will be where we import the rich text editor and replace our built-in rich text editor with the custom open source editor, and then start to add some more components around it for extra customization. Let's start by heading back over to the documentation for a second to see exactly how to import these components. As you can see, we only need to add three import statements to the top of our document. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this into our code editor. Now that we have the rich text editor added into our code, let's go to the render method and replace our placeholder component with the rich text editor. Back in Contentful, you can see that nothing has changed so far. There's a few things we need to do to ensure that our app will properly render inside of the rich text field. The first thing is to go over and check the app definition. My app definition lists that in the entry field, the rich text option is selected, which means that we should be able to select our app when selecting the appearance for our content type. Back over in our content model, I'm going to click on the blog post content type. And in the body field, I'll click on settings and head over to the appearance tab. Here's where I will select the my app, which is the app we're currently working on, instead of the default rich text editor. I'm going to confirm these changes. Back in the blog post, we can see that we have an error. Looking at the code, you can see that all we've done is import the rich text editor and nothing else. We actually need to add the SDK into the rich text editor in order for it to function properly. As you can see, now that we've added the SDK, we now have access to a fully functional rich text editor, which now can be customized. Back in the code to illustrate this customization, I'm going to import a note component from Forma 36. I'm also going to change our render method to show this note component. As you can see, the field editors allow for out-of-the-box functionality while also allowing for customization inside of your app. 